I'm trying to make it so you guys can actually see me. There. <laughs> Okay, hello everybody. This is kind of a follow-up to... Now that I've honked my horn... Okay, so this is a follow-up to my previous video about being undercarbed. So I am in between teaching classes right now and I made a couple stops on the way to have, I'm, I'm always talking about emergency snacks, but emergency snacks have become such an important part of my life, especially when I have that tendency to become like low blood sugar, undercarb, that type of thing. So I grabbed a couple snacks to keep in my cupboard and I'd like to show you. So it's definitely not the ideal, ideal um, high carb vegan grocery shopping but it's stuff to have in the cupboard in case of emergency so i've kind of covered the bases here i already got into something i bought it less than an hour ago um i've already got into it but these are banana brownies they are so good they are just uh dehydrated bananas pressed into little um these little like square packets for like 60 calories each so each one is like equivalent to banana um, but they don't taste like bananas they actually kind of live up to their name they they have this like chewy fudgy texture um, and they almost like even though they don't have any chocolate in them at all or any carob or anything they kind of have this like chocolatey taste so they're super yummy and they come in a bunch of different flavors I like just the original banana ones on their own Let's see if I can show you them again anyway they come in guava flavor and pineapple and fig um, and they're all mixed with bananas these ones are straight bananas all the others are like a half and half super good so this is something to have around i also got i'm a huge fan of the mary's line um, so these are mary's chipotle tomato pretzels uh, in a serving of 15 pretzels there's five grams of fat uh, most of the fat is coming from your flax seeds, chia seeds, like seeds, it's all whole food. There's not a speck of oil, it's all whole um, ingredients. Whole grain brown rice, whole grain quinoa, whole grain flax, sesame seeds, amaranth, millet, water, sea salt, chia seeds, tomato paste, and chipotle powder, and that's all. These things are so good. Uh, they come in a few different flavors. I was really excited to see the chipotle tomato. They also come in a sea salt. And I think there's one other flavor. So that's um, what I'm craving my like crunchy, chewy, snacky. Um, my absolute favorite gluten-free pasta in the world. This exact one here, the teal package. You know, if you ever bought it, buy me a gift. I just love this stuff. I love the big spiral noodles and the stuff took cooks up so well. So that's Tinkyada, uh, the Fusilli. I, oh yeah. So at the store, I scored Cliff Bars for a dollar each. Uh, so I got 10 in total combination of the, the chocolate almond fudge and the chocolate chip. So good, I couldn't turn it down. So I'm gonna like be stashing those like a chipmunk. What else did I get? I got some cookies. I got Enjoy Life brand. Um, everything that this brand makes is completely vegan. You do not get a lot of cookies in this package, but it's really worth it. It's free of all common allergens. Um, so for me, I'm a celiac, so the importance of gluten-free is really, really high naturally they're, and they're in a dedicated facility so you know there's going to be no there's not going to be any cross contamination with with eggs with dairy with wheat with any of that so these snickerdoodles so they are soft baked they're super yummy um i got those i got mary's chocolate chip cookies again everything that this company makes is also um vegan and and gluten-free so they originally started as just a company that made a gluten-free cracker I have not tried these before. This is uh, one of three items that I'm getting that I've never had. Um, 
but it says right on there. Awesome. Organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, and vegan. Uh, these ones are, and the other ones, the, the Enjoy Life cookies are very similar. Two cookies is six grams of fat. Uh, this is something that I'll have around as a little treat here and there, and I'm really trying to, again, emergency food, right? And the last thing that I got, I guess I was inspired by uh, Rice and Raw Sasha. Um, I think in one of her videos recently she probably so I've never tried these things so it's actually vegan jerky and because I had that really crazy craving the other day like I I don't know I just I want to have it around for if I'm craving this texture so for me being like strict vegan it has been an off and on thing. So yeah, I guess out of a lot of people's definition out there, I'm not a real vegan. I don't know. So I'm I'm trying to be prepared for any cravings that come up and kind of re-teaching or, or teaching myself for the first time that I don't need to associate that craving with an animal product. Yeah, so I grabbed these. They are... This one has one gram of fat, this one has three. A little extra protein, not that we need it, but it's a uh, little snack. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll think they're disgusting. But I just, I feel like I have a lot of stuff, the cookies and the crunchy and the chewy, I have all my bases covered. So that's, um, that's kind of my plan of action for keeping carved up. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs it down. Either way, start a conversation down below. Have you tried any of these items yourself? What are your favorite um, vegan emergency foods, especially for the high carb, uh, like a high carb, low fat vegan uh, diet? I'd love to hear about them. Uh, I live close to the border, so I will be going to the state soon. So if there's any items that some of my American friends have down there, please let me know and I'll be sure to hunt them out when I'm down there. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.